I guess it's busted for good. <sighs> The hatch fell down. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. You guess right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. flatter me. Probe. It... it distracted the antimat. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Asna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've, I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. I'm not down here. to win over a person. You have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Maybe it's not the end of our voyage together. Let's go, Luna. Okay. Time to get out of here. Oh, 
not good. Jeez, I simply don't get a break. What is that this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Are you asking about? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So, how are you feeling? I've already experienced what Dr. Krauter referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. Actually, Koval participated in them. What? How? I had a long and heartfelt conversation with him. Uh, please don't ask for details. seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You're so tired, yes, ma'am. Because I am... Oh, damn it! The storm's getting worse.
once on this planet. I'm becoming more and more convinced. What I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist. I must admit it's an interesting thought. But quite disturbing. You admire a beautiful view. An hour seems like a minute. But a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Does we just three feel like a hot stove? Sometimes. I've gone over everything in that area.
The engine started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Are you driving? How are the conditions? I'm going. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Oh, shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. Yeah, the vehicle is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body, discharge into the ground, without getting inside. I'm not worried. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. And there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshields shattering at high voltages. Doesn't stress me out at all. I remember a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, engineer, and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation, and we crushed the rocket. Then we really put it back together. For whatever was on hand, it's quite a machine. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how far am I from the city's border? Now, considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse... You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. Status? How are you doing, Yasna? I'm still alive. The signal's just weak. Unfortunately, yes, but it's hardly surprising.
into a cave. The storm has subsided. Formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the mole in my bag? Of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmet 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Emmett saw equipped with a black box. Please find it. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data lockers. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Here we go. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket and plug. something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And presto. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. was connected to a base. The one from the flight? Oh, most probably. No one is transmitting from the base. I'd suggest you lie down. The storm's raging. Best to sleep through the night. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? If we talk... Maybe I'll finally fall asleep. Naturally. Have anything specific in mind? Yes, actually. I, I wasn't able to report it earlier. 
But I found fossils underground. Fossils? Based on my brief observations, they belong to lizard-like creatures. Really? That means something lived on this sterile rock. Please forgive the question, but are you sure? Well, I didn't imagine them, did I? I don't know. It felt real. Why don't I try to find some confirmation in the Alliance data? And for now, let's talk about something else. Instead of getting ahead of ourselves, a more light-hearted subject, perhaps. May I ask why you became an astronaut? There are two answers to this question. An honest one and a personal lie. To give you the clearest picture of the truth, I'd have to tell you both. I'm all ears. As cadets, we participated in a series of meetings. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all wanted to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. I remember childhood memories when we first heard about that brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Every astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that. But my reason, an honest reason, or a nice sounding memory that never happened, that I've never been able to find my place. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here, in space. Although I never dreamed of exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It was among my crew that I found. Wait, Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and the encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now. Waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key... The first three digits of the cipher are... Uh, the next is... I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Now let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. I'm very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator.
investigator? The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. As in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Hm. Have you examined Merritt's body yet? I wired her brain to a grave tapper, if that's what you're asking. Yes, that's what I meant. Have you watched the memory recording? Yes, but they didn't say anything because the picture is ambiguous. To put it mildly, a lot of black dots. The graininess of the image is extremely bad. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir? I wasn't keen on this mission from the start. We were supposed to return a long time ago, and that's what I want. I want all of us to return home, dead or alive. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other... tasks. between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. I'm about to head out to the desert area. Has a lander taken off? Yes, a second ago. Threshold of 18,000. The line's breaking up. Can you hear me? What's happening? I've lost control of the lander. Do you see it? Just a sec. I have to get off. <sighs> it, it hasn't yet pierced a cloud cover. <sighs> there it is. Oh, no. Flying too fast. Yes, 
status. What's the lapdus condition? I, I don't know. All I see is a thick plume of smoke. But considering the speed it hit the ground at, I, I... I don't understand how it happened. I checked it thoroughly. It was fully functional. Couldn't have been an accident. I don't believe it. I'm gonna check what's left of it. breakdown. Splendid. No, yes, sir. No. I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, so you'll put it in the report, sir. That's not what I meant. left of Artie. Ah, good. So there's a chance we can extract key information from it. Somehow it still looks active. Ask him what happened to the Lambda. Ask? But he doesn't speak. But he gives yes or no signals. Give him the analysis command. We formulate questions in such a way so that he can confirm or deny. Artie, question analysis command. Did an enemy missile hit Hopper? Uh, no. It wasn't a missile. Maybe it's a storm? Some error. Apparently, he can't give a definitive answer. Damn! Short it out. So, what now? Then you must go to the Alliance camp. I wanted to avoid it at all costs, but we have no choice. This is your only chance. It's all their fault. It must have been them from the very beginning. I have no doubts now. Neither do I. However, they might be willing to negotiate if you voluntarily place yourself in their hands.
They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, no. Yes? The Alliance is really behind all this. They might expect visitors. We should try to find out if they're planning anything for your arrival. First, observe them from a distance, and only then take action. I will be cautious, like always. If you must understand that I have no other choice, I'm not going to the enemy's camp on a mere whim. I know, Doctor, I know. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend or under a ledge, telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that. warning signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. I should move. Oh, there's no time. Is hidden. You've yet to find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base. Oh shit. I think I'm too far away. I headed into the open area. Don't panic. Since no one's interrupted us, I'll assume they haven't located you yet. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? It's 15, 20 meters high. It has an upright silhouette. And it looks like a... a balloon. It's a field base. Multi-module. For about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. There's lots of transporters here. 
I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't assign anyone to guard duty. Is that all? I think so. And please keep going. We can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Still, I'm glad that I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Me too, Doctor. Me too. Remember one thing. I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Of course, it'd be better if that didn't happen. But I know their methods of interrogation, and in all fairness, they're very effective. Astrogator, you're forgetting that I want to talk to them. As one human to another, not as enemies. I hope you're right, Doctor. But even if we disregard decades of mutual enmity, we must keep in mind human nature. Homo homini lupus. Just because you want to talk to them doesn't mean they'll listen. I'd rather expect they'll be asking the questions and you'll be answering them. Since we have no idea what's going to happen, I want you to know that you were always a fair commander, even if you were quite strict. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Please, stop, Doctor. You can tell me when you get back, in person. Understood? Yes, sir.
access to the base is protected by a force field. Hmm. If these are Dira committers, and I'm sure they are, nothing will get through. Is there an opening from the other side? I'll see. There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Could be some kind of trick. Not a living soul. Better for your safety if they make the first move. If you really don't see anyone. All right, then. Enter the base. Just slowly. With your hands up. I'm going. What have I got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. I can't hear anyone either. 